Well, I'll tell y'all that there's a certain step I think we're going to come back and repeat. And as for now, I'll tell y'all I probably got the start of the sanding done on this one. Just decided to work on a few little things while the last video uploaded. It's uploading to YouTube right now, but while it was uploading to Amazon photos from the tablet, I decided to kind of work on just a few other little things we needed to, but we're going to try to take the same step into this next one here. Got two more on which to carve out some wings. I kind of know one thing for sure that it always does me a little good just to try to get a little bit more out there have some good sales now and then and I'd say for all the reputation I've made in some places there's some things that are going to be out to be sold soon and you know my Paul Bunyan display my Colonel Sanders display my Apollo 11 just to name a few things that are going to be out at some events this year to be sold and you know it's some of these things they're probably going to be a little high priced you know and it's just going to be the kind of thing where we're going to see a little things in life where we kind of get to be thankful for what we can do, what we're able to do, and what we get to show and to see, and I'd say one thing for sure, you know, there's a lot of stuff we're getting used to this year, but it's going to go very well. We're going to see happy people, happy faces, and I'd say that little works of art can kind of make themselves a longer ways and as of how this is going to work see things from brighter perspectives there are times when you know I've been back in some places and things can kind of differ from one time you're there to the next this might be a good time between now and Christmas that I could get some good money saved up to kind of buy some nicer and more important things, things I might enjoy having just to display and just to look at. I've seen a lot of nice little taxidermies on Etsy. I've seen a squirrel monkey. I've seen a baboon. seen a little rock hyrax and I say that a little work is just something that we all like to have for us to do now and then and there comes times when I like to carve these things just to kind of show a little spirit and activity and stuff never made a sale off of my Etsy store yet but have had people maybe favorite a few items now and then I uh, say that this is just a little work we have to do off the side and when we come down to what it's going to look like in the end when we're done that's going to be a lot of good to see I say this is where we've come along on this guy here see how he's going to stand well probably not as perfectly not as easily as these other two but we know that he might even need a flatter surface here. I know you all can't see all these other surfaces here when you're 
got the camera in one direction and the surfaces go another way, but I'd say we'll put him aside and try to carve into the wings of this next one here. And I tell y'all that it's been a good way just to kind of get about things. I'll tell y'all that there also comes a little time in my life when so there are certain recreational things from when I might just temporarily kind of fast for a while. Because it's kind of like, I mean, you know, little things will go on at work wherever you go. And sometimes I have to kind of take little breaks from what I do. And it kind of helps me in the long run because sometimes I get a little more money saved up and get where I can kind of buy some things I'd like to have. And I've even heard it said if people kind of see something unique at your booth, it might make them come along and see it and might even be a reason why they might come by and purchase what they can afford because sometimes a little neat work now and then kind of help people out a little bit just to be able to see what you have and see what you do and I'd say that sometimes I felt a little conviction lately to try to put items out to attempt to sell and I've put certain prices on them and the prices I have on my items are prices that I don't expect people to pay, don't really expect people to be able to afford, let alone be willing to pay if they can afford them. So it would be a little hard work to accomplish, a little hard work to do, and I'd say that I'd be so blessed if I did get a financial reward off of one of these things I'll be selling in one of these places, you know, and it's like, you know, somebody pays you to work, and you have to do it, and especially when you're getting paid by the government or something like that, whatever you are doing, and that's kind of what I come to see with all this stuff coming along the way they even kinda on most of their jobs make you put your phones up on the job where I work your phone cannot be in your pocket or anything it either has to be in your locker or in your car so that's how we work along with the things I do I do want to say that there's little things here. I think I'm going to go ahead, take the first rough grid of sandpaper and demonstrate how I just sanded this one between videos and put the same line of work on along this one too. Sometimes I've also had people suggest to me when I first started carving that you get the fiber back sandpaper because they say that the paperback one will kind of wear and tear too easily. Seems like sometimes even for myself I've often noticed that it does. So there's certain pads I got mainly for the mouse sander. But the mouse sander doesn't get used quite as much as it used to. And there's gotten to be different projects I work on that don't require as much of it. There are some things that's a little easier and better to sand by hand. And when it comes to these little carving projects, that's most often the case. Because this is how we work about this. Make it so it's going to shine a little light into us. Make us see a little better days, easier ways. Oh, I tell y'all, and sometimes, sometimes, kind of get the little lines and crevices out of the carving. 
because a knife can leave a lot of facets. There are some carvings the facets are good for, but not for every carving. And as a matter of fact, we're going to work along this, make it so we see little ways we go about it, and kind of make it so we're going to do our work to where it's going to come out nice and easy and even I say oh a lot of times it's working with jobs and working with what we do and the things I say we have oh bless our lives bless our souls I say that this little work shall find a way in us make it so we'll see a little brighter future come ahead of us and I say that this is a little sanding we do with the rougher grit I think I might kind of try to take these along a little more I've already got a couple of them with the rough grit and I think I might demonstrate how like with this 60 grit here if that's what it is I think or it might be a 50 grit something like that I kind of forget the number on these sometimes or maybe it's a 40 but I just kind of look at them and tell how tough they are and know how to get started on things there's going to be little times when we're going to work along the way make things a little brighter and better do one thing too and I say that we got one little grid here that's a 240 too soon for that just yet but we got probably plenty more over here that we can use and decide that for a next video or two we might find some more but I think I might need to look so I think I'm going to end this video right here, give it a moment to upload and come back to show some more.